of all the planets, finding the position of Saturn is most important to determine when the Mahabharata war took place. There are four verses which give us three possible positions. The four verses state that Saturn either causes Pida to Rohini and is at Rohini Nakshatra or is stationary at Vishakha with Jupiter or is attacking Uttarafalguni. The first position of Saturn at Rohini is rendered powerful because it is the only planetary position based on two separate verses, one from Udyoga Parva 141.7 which says that Prajapatyamhi nakshatram grahas tikshno mahatyuti shaneshchara pidayati pidayan pranino dikam and the other from Bhishma Parva 232 which states that Rohini impidayan neshan sthito rajan shaneshchara Thus both of the two verses point to Saturn at Rohi and both verses refer to Pida. Pida is a Jyotish term and needs an explanation as per the principles of Jyotisha as that's what Vyas meant. The verse uh, also demands a Nakshatra Pida explanation and not a Rashi Pida explanation as stated explicitly. The next position of Saturn is given by a verse from Bhishma Parva, verse uh, 325 which uh, states that one translation of the verse could be that two ignited grahas are near Vishakha Nakshatra described as Saturn and Jupiter. But there is a problem. Jupiter never stays at a Nakshatra for a full year but only a few months at a time. The verse preceding it also illustrates the issue. Grahau tam rarano shikho prajulita vubhau. Saptarishi Udaranam Samavachha Devai Prabham. This means that those two grahas have shikhas and so therefore they must be comets and they must obscure or penetrate the Saptarishis which is very difficult for Saturn and Jupiter because they are very far away from Vishakha. Jupiter and Saturn also however bright cannot obscure the Saptarishis. The third position is from Bhishma Parva 314 and it says that the son of the sun, Graha, is attacking the nakshatra ruled by Bhaga, which is Uttara Falguni. I resolve this position according to Brahat Samhita, which calls this as a comet. But this verse is an alternative translation from Southern Recensions, which you can find on Twitter with my handle, at MM Pandit. After this rigorous cross-checking, let us check our inferences now. The near Vishakha position of Saturn is resolved as two comets as Jupiter and Saturn don't have Shikhas and cannot obscure or penetrate the Saptashis or Ursa Major. Only comets have Shikhas. Vishakha in any case is too far away from Ursa Major. Next, the final verse is resolved in two separate ways. The first two verses now appear extremely strong and both point to Saturn at Rohini which causes Pida to it by being stationed there according to Brihat Samhita and Sarvata Bhadra Chakra which are the only two methods of establishing Nakshatra Pida. Here I also show you Sarvata Bhadra Chakra which is used for determination of Nakshatra Pida and was used at the time of the Mahabharata. You can see that Saturn is clearly causing Pida to Rohini in 3067 BCE. Can Saturn cause Pida to Rohini in any other war proposal. You will be surprised to know that the strength of Saturn afflicting Rohini Nakshatra mentioned in ancient classics and even in the Dasharta Krita Stotra is completely ignored by all war proposals except in 3067 BCE. Let's check the proposal of 5561 BCE using Sarvatabhadra Chakra. You can clearly see that Saturn is neither in Rohini Nakshatra nor does it cause Pida to Rohini Nakshatra. The most credible, consistent and logical position of Saturn as shown is that of Saturn in Rohini and afflicting it as shown. In summary, all verses pertaining to Saturn must be resolved accurately. In 3067 BCE, we have resolved all four verses and we have taken Saturn at Rohini, whereas in all other proposals, the four verses are not resolved. 
and the wrong position of Saturn is taken, thus invalidating their war proposals. Thus, 3067 BC must be the year of the war. It is astonishing, if somewhat unnerving, to know that Saturn was stationed in Rohini Nakshatra during 9-11, during the Bangladesh Genocide and during the Battle of Stalingrad of World War II, to name just a few catastrophes of the last century. Thanks for watching. 